a lot of editorial people are looking for what's unique today. It's not just about price. It's about what makes your product or service unique and different in the marketplace. Follow the Leader features dynamic women entrepreneurs in their journeys to becoming a success in business. This podcast is an inspirational space for entrepreneurs, future entrepreneurs, and thought leaders as they share their keys to success. I am Chanel Christoph Davis, the CEO and founding partner of the largest woman and minority-owned sales tax advisory practice in the country, Davis Davis and Harmon, LLC. Mary Mac Stevens Dillon, inventor of the pillow bar. Mary Mack is an um, amazing woman intro entrepreneur. She's been in business for herself for over a decade. She's a, a patent holder, and uh, she has several um, accom- accomplishments under her belt, awards such as 2008 Best of Big D by D Magazine, 2009 Best Inventor by the Wall Street Journal, 2014 Graduate of Goldman Sachs, 10,000 Small Businesses, 2015 finalist of the Icon Awards, 2016 Women in Business Award by Dallas Business Journal, 2016 Gold Medal Addy Award for Television Excellence, and currently, most recently, 2017 Ethics Award, which I think is one of the best awards that I've seen on this list. A woman with great ethics in business, I mean, you can't beat that, by the Better Better Business Bureau. Welcome, Merrimack. I'm Thank so happy you. to have you here today. Thank you so much for having me. Boy, that list makes me sound just old. <laughs> it makes you sound amazing. Are you kidding me? You started this business in 2008, and immediately out the gate, you won an award. I did. I started in my garage. Uh, it's been 10 years ago. We started in the garage. We built the machine that makes pillows to match every person's individual sleep style and shoulder size. We've had a lot of fun on the, along the way, and Hopefully, we've helped a lot of people along the way. Our ultimate goal is to really help people sleep better with less pain and wake up um, more rested and be able to perform at their peak level. Well, you know, that resonates with me so much because on the average day, a week in a day, I wake up with a crook in my neck. (laughs) Like, I cannot get my pillow situation together. So this definitely um, touches something for me personally. And as you know, when you're running a business, you need to rest really well. Like your nights are so crucial. So what made you start this business? Like what was the impetus? What made you start on this journey? Well, it was really interesting. Um, I'm a little OCD, I think. And um, I had sold my previous business and I was spending time with my daughter while she was horse showing and trying to be a good mom. And um, my husband had really um, uh, unexpected surgery. He had a, a disc explode in his back, which happens to a lot of middle-aged men. And when we went to the hospital, they said, do you understand this is more serious than that? And he actually may not walk after this surgery. Well, I was horrified, terrified, and quickly paid attention and said, okay, what do I need to do? So after he came out of surgery, and thankfully he does walk, <laughs> okay. we're 10 years later and he's good. Um, but they said, you have to give him the very best pillows, the very best mattresses, the very best shoes, keep him, you know, he should never carry anything more than his keys and a cell phone. Wow. And so I started researching pillows and mattresses and I went to the neurosurgeon and the chiropractor who had worked on him and said, okay, what do I need? And, um, you know, I had my little pad and pen and I said, okay, I'm ready. Whatever he needs, I'll get. And they said, oh, here's a mattress and here's some shoes and, but don't get us started on pillows. There aren't any. And I said, that's ridiculous. It seems so simple. How could there not be pillows? So I said, you're telling me there's not a pillow you can recommend. And they both said, nope. And I said, well, do you have any ideas of what the perfect pillow would be? And they both said, oh, yeah, we have ideas. Oh, wow. So I said, well, let's do it. And he said, do you sew? And I said, no, no, No. I do not (laughs) sew. But how hard can it be? Mm -hmm. So a year later, I was in their sleep clinics testing products. Um, We didn't know if we were going to have pillows made of microfiber or latex. I knew, was, I knew then as much as you know about pillows. Okay. You have no idea what's inside of it. Correct. So we started cutting them open. And um, they, we went through lots of different fills, and they actually made the decision on what the fill should be. 
and the densities to match each person's shoulder size. So it took us about a year. Mm -hmm. And during that time, I, w I said, well, if we can make the perfect pillow, then we need a machine that can be in a retail store that can actually make the machine in front of the customer. And while we're at it, we should monogram their name on it. So right. you know which one's yours, and your partner's not drooling all over your perfect pillow. <laughs> right. <laughs> so um, it really all just came together at one time. And I I have to say there are a lot of God moments in there where I couldn't get something to work and somebody would show up at the door to solve the problem. So how, I mean, how many different iterations of this pillow are there? Like how custom? We, uh, very custom. It, we match your sleep style. So we have all the regular sizes you're used to, like standards, queens, kings. But then we have some very unique shapes, like we call it the Dr. Mary side sleeper. And it's a big boomerang shaped pillow. And we call it Dr. Mary because it was designed by Dr. Mary Collings, who's the chiropractor for the Dallas Mavericks. Okay. So she's the one who's dealing with people with really tough shoulder and neck problems. So she designed that big boomerang shape for us. And 80% of Americans are side sleepers. So we, that's our best selling item. But chiropractors try to force you to sleep on your back, right? Well, they don't want you to sleep on your side. On right, side. and the way you wake up is actually your natural sleep style, oh. which people don't know. They think it's the way they go to bed. Interesting. So it is actually the way you wake up. And, okay. you know, you cannot change your sleep style. Okay, that was my next question, but can you change it? Not really. Okay. Um, people try. You know, like all women say, I want to sleep on my back so I don't have any wrinkles and my hair stays right and all that. Your body, you are, you know, you're unconscious basically right. when you're sleeping. So your body will find its own comfortable spot. And for people who toss and turn, they're normally tossing and turning because their shoulder has fallen asleep or their fingers have fallen asleep or, you know, something's hurting. Mm. So their body moves to try to get out of pain. Okay. So what we try to do is match you with the right pillow so that you have enough support for your shoulders, your neck, your arm, and so that you don't have extremities falling asleep. So that's our whole goal is to match people with the perfect pillow. Um, there is no one size fits all. Okay. There is just not. So now currently your pillows are available in Neiman Marcus stores. No, online, no. Neiman Marcus. Online, okay. Um, what we do is we have about 500 stores that sell our products. Okay. So um, it's everything. We don't, you'll never find us on Rue La La or One Kings Lane or any discount sites because what we do is so custom. Customized, yes. So we have linen stores. We have mattress stores. We have um, catalogs. We stick with Gumps and Neiman Marcus and Front Gate, the higher end catalogs. Mm -hmm. Um, the higher end linen stores, like in Dallas, um, the linen boutique on Lovers Lane, okay, or um, uh, the Dallas Luxury Bed Store mm -hmm. um, that sells the Hestons and the Vice Spring mattresses, which are all custom made. Okay, so we try to pair ourselves with people who are very aware custom. of okay. of, of mat. It's not just yanking a square, a rectangle off a shelf and throwing it at somebody and saying, "Here, try this." Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's people who understand that. Now we also do sell a line of pillows that are down alternative. Mm -hmm. and they're more on the mass market, so you'll find them at Dillard's. Um, and they say on the pillow, this is for people under five foot six or over, because it's all about shoulder size, and mm. shoulder size normally equates to height. Okay. So the more petite you are. There's a lot of science in this. There's a lot of observation. Okay. Um, observation during the sleep clinics of how people sleep and um, you know, it's all about fitting you. Okay. It's no different than uh, buying undergarments. Right. Or getting you. a suit, you need to be fitted. Absolutely. So if I'm in New York City and I want to be fitted for one of your pillows, where do I go? You go to a, a store called Savoir Beds. Okay. And they do custom bedding okay. and custom pillows. So on our website, we have a list of all the stores. Um, we try not to compete with our retailers because we really want you to have that one-on-one -on -one experience. Yes. So we're not selling on Amazon. Gotcha. Uh, we're really trying to have it that custom experience. And you also do a lot of extra custom touches. You, you touched upon one, the personalization. You can add a scripture. You can add a quote. Whatever you want. You can want. add your name, uh, your initials. But you also put lavender. <laughs> why, you, why did you choose to do that? Well, one of the things that's really important is we try to give you all the tips to getting a better night's sleep. Mm -hmm. So lavender is proven to help your body relax. It's the, amazing. The I use it personally. It's <laughs> yeah, the no aroma, joke. The aromatherapy yes. helps you. But also, you know, you should keep your bedroom at 68 degrees. You should sleep in all um, natural products, so preferably all cotton. If you have any scent, a lot of people will say, oh, I wear my running clothes or I wear my workout clothes to sleep in. Well, I wouldn't do that. Your okay. body can't breathe. 
um, especially for women at, at a certain age, yes. <laughs> please go for all cotton. Yes. Um, sheets should be all natural. Okay. All of those things will help you get a better night's sleep because your body can breathe. And then air is able to go through the, the materials that's on your bed. Right. Okay. Right. And it's kind of the way you would treat a baby. <laughs> we do all, No, seriously, we do all this research when we have bring a baby home. Right. We make sure that their bedding is proper, their clothing is proper, but when we get to a certain age, we just don't care about ourselves. But you know what's so interesting <laughs> is that we hear a lot of people say, oh, I have the worst neck ache, I have the worst pillows, I really need to upgrade my pillows. I'm just going to give the kids my pillows. And I say, stop and listen to what you just said. You know, your, pillow, your children's bodies are forming. The last thing you want to do is put them on a terrible pillow that cranks their neck up or has them droopy at night. Mm. So, you know, it's important for all ages. Yes. To get a proper fit. In them. Absolutely, positively. I mean, that's what this is all about. We don't go to all this trouble to just make a fluffy rectangle. You know, this is all about luxury with a purpose. Okay. Um, so we want it to be luxurious, of course, but we want it to be purposeful. We okay. want it to work. You've gotten some amazing endorsements, celebrity endorsements. Do you want to share? Well, I wouldn't call them endorsements. I would say they're more people who have used the product and have then chosen to write about it. Okay. So a lot of PR. Um, we've been very lucky. Um, it just came out of the blue. Literally, when I was in my garage making the first pillows, um, the Wall Street Journal wrote a lovely article ranking pillows, and we were chosen number one. And their wow. quote was, um, we slept so well, we thought there was something narcotic. <laughs> And we love that quote because, you know, we laughed about it ever since. And then we were very fortunate to be Whoopi's favorite thing. So we, were, we got to be on The View mm -hmm. and give away pillows to the whole audience. And it happened to be um, Memorial Weekend. So it was all military. Nice. So that was very meaningful to all of us. So okay. we were thrilled to give away pillows for them. And then, you know, we've been very lucky. The Dallas Morning News has written about us and the San Francisco Chronicle and um, Oprah chose us as the best uh, graduation gift for your kids. Send wow. them off with some meaningful things. She chose some really nice sayings on her uh, editorial. Oh, mm -hmm. It was um, uh, life's a journey, uh, dream big, uh, oh, the places you'll go, mm. and dream on. Wow. So that was really nice. Um, Those are some great endorsements. Yeah, it was, it, it, we've been very fortunate, um, and we've, we don't want to be everywhere. We mm -hmm. don't want to be everything to everyone, but we've tried to make all of our products here in the United States. So we have towels and mm -hmm. sheets and pillows and uh, other bedding luxuries, but all of our towels are made in here in the United States, and we have some night shirts that we make here in the United States, and again, everything's personalized. Um, it would be a great wedding gift. You know, like in, back in the day, you would send your daughter off with like a trunk. Mm -hmm. Trousseau trunk. All her, a trousseau mm -hmm. trunk. And you would have all your luxury linens in it, your pillows. We it was do kind a of a of thing that. that we did in New Orleans back in the day. <laughs> I don't think that, that that's another commonality Merrimack and I have. We're both native New Orleanians. We just discovered Which that. Which means we like to eat a lot. Today, we like to eat. <laughs> um, but yeah, you used to, when you, when you were betrothed, your family would to get put together a trunk for you and your linens and your towels and your pillows, all that would be a part of the trunk. We do a lot of that here, especially because we do the, the night shirts with the, for the, all the bridesmaids and mm -hmm. then we'll do the, the towels and the sheets because we're, we're willing to do strange, I mean, different things. We yes. don't, we don't hold you to just the monogram. You know, if you want to put sweet dreams across your sheets or always kiss me goodnight across your sheets, we don't care. We're happy to do it. Nice. So special orders don't upset us. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, you touched on a couple of things that I wanted to speak about. You know, this is the show is Follow the Leader. Mm -hmm. So I want my audience to, to take away some key leadership points. When I thought about getting some advice or some mentorship around PR, the first person I thought to come to was you was Merrimack. I was like, you know, Merrimack, you're the best that I've seen for PR. And there's quite a bit of a difference between marketing and advertising and PR. You know, and I think a lot of business owners don't understand that there's a difference. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? I do, because as a small business, you don't have the budget to go out and buy here. Let me buy, you know, fifteen thousand dollars worth of ads. Um, so if you can have a smaller advertising budget and then find your unique story. What is your unique story? What makes you different from everybody else? And what is it that makes your product unique? And then sh spread the word, if you will. Mm -hmm. And it's not hard because um, a lot of editorial people are looking for what's unique today. It's not just about price. It's about what makes your product or service unique. 
and different in the marketplace? And how do you get that word out? And like you and I discussed, you know, press releases, um, information out there, samples, um, find the right person at each publication, look at editorial calendars. Every small business can take, you know, when you're at home at night, if you're not working all the time, you're the thinking time. about yeah. it. Um, so, you know, pull up on nowadays with online, you can get every, you know, in, my, in the beginning of time, <laughs> long, long ago, um, you used to have to subscribe, you know, get them by mail, all the media calendars. Well, now you just go online and pull up the magazines you're interested in, look at their editorial calendars. And if they're writing a story about whatever your product is, you know, submit your uh your press release about your product at the right time. At the right time. Mm -hmm. You know, keep in mind it's months in advance of them writing the article. Mm -hmm. So, and it just takes some work to be on top of whatever it is that you're unique for. Mm -hmm. um, so, and marketing and advertising is more what you're paying other people to say about you. Well, but public relations is really your brand, your image, and is what others are saying about you just naturally. And you can't control it. That's you can't another, control public relations. That is a That's big exclamation difference. point at the end of every time anybody says to me, how come you have so, so much good PR? And I say, well, exclamation point, you cannot control you it. can't control it. So if somebody chooses to write an article about pillows and we get slammed, I can't control that. So mm -hmm. I can't be upset about it. Fortunately, knock on wood, that You've has never not had happened that to us. But, you know, it's very important to understand it's not, and you cannot control what somebody says. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so when you, you, you are at risk a little bit. Yes. Um, There's risk in public now relations. Now, when I buy an ad in a magazine, I control exactly what goes in that ad and I pay for it. And I do, we do do a lot of advertising now. As we've grown, we've done more and more advertising. But at the very beginning, we didn't have that kind of uh, financial budget to be able to buy advertising. Mm -hmm. um, but now we do, and we feel very fortunate to be able to. Mm -hmm. um, but it's it's important to protect your brand. Mm -hmm. um, and small businesses, I know there are desperate moments when you think, I'll, I'll sell to anyone. I'll do anything to get my product out of the door. You have to be very careful about that. That can come back to bite you. There are many times when people came to me and said, look, if you sell at a deep discount, we can sell 10,000 units. And I said, yeah, but if I do that, there's no going back. Yeah, you're watering down your brand. Right. You have to protect your brand. Right. And I think another thing that you, you touched upon just now is um, being unique knowing your your unique value proposition and sticking to it at all costs. Don't let anyone push you in a different direction or, you know, you get so, as an entrepreneur, you get so many people pitching to you things that you should do for your business. I think every entrepreneur has a little OCD. Yes. And we love the shiny new penny. Yes. And it's really hard to stay on your own path and not say, oh, but I like that over there. Or I like that over there. It's very hard to stay focused. Um, and I think the more you grow and the more you have a little bit mo more financial freedom, it's even harder to stay on track. Yes. People come to us all day long. Somebody I came bet. to us the other day with something. I said, oh, isn't that the coolest thing? And everybody in my office looked at me and said, what does that have to do with what we do? I started laughing and I said, thank you all. Keep me on the, on the racetrack. I don't need to veer off. Yeah. One of the, the, one of the things we did years ago when we first started our business is we wrote a, a mission and a value statement. What, you know, what is our value proposition and what is our mission? What is our vision? And that's the way we evaluated every opportunity that came in front of us. If it didn't fit within our vision, our mission, and we held each other accountable. You know, when if I brought something to my husband or if he brought something to me, I'm like, well, now how does that fit? We said we were this. This is who we said we were. This does not fit within that mission or but that congratulations vision. to you. Not everybody does that because they get moving so fast to just stay alive mm -hmm. that they sometimes forget that and the, and the shiny dollar Mm -hmm. And it's really hard sometimes to say no. To say no. It is really hard to say no. Um, and I just feel like if you stick with your track, um, and if you have a good value proposition, and if you have a uniqueness that makes you unique to your market, stick with what you've got and keep working at it. Yeah. And anybody who says this is easy isn't doing it. Right. Because it's not. Yeah. As we both know. They're and selling a bill of goods because it's not easy. We work. And we work hard. And people who say, oh, I'd love to own my own business. I say, well, if you want to work a million hours a week. <laughs> you're like, do you? Do but you really? <laughs> I think you're born, you're born that way or you're not. Yes. And there's nothing wrong with people who don't want to because 
They're, everybody's got to have people who are willing to be part of a team. Be a part of a team, yes. And, and another thing about having a business is you have to be able to communicate your vision and your value and your, your mission to your employees and to your staff and to your leadership team. If you can't do that, it's hard for people to buy into your dream. Well, and it's somewhat trite, but I have it on um, my walls. I think you saw it in my office. You know, teamwork makes the dream work mm-hmm. because we can't do anything By alone. yourself, no. And especially in what we do, not only do we have to go out and sell our product, we have to make it all. Mm. So <laughs> you're a true manufacturer in the United States, which right. people say the manufacturing industry is dead, but you're right here alive and kicking. Well, and we're not huge. You know, mm-hmm. we're not running a ginormous factory. You know, we have very specialty items and we take care of people one by one. And I think that's part of our uniqueness. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I think attitude and integrity um, will give anybody the accomplishment they need. And that's one of the things we preach in our office is, you know, you're, you're not going to um, drive a Maserati and work here. <laughs> mm. But you will, um, your opinions and your ideas will be part of the daily conversation. Mm-hmm. And you can contribute in any way that you want. Mm-hmm. And we value your input. And, and I'm need certainly you here. not going to mm-hmm. ask somebody to do something I'm not willing to do. Absolutely. And yes. I think that's one of the important things for small businesses is not to think that, oh, I'm going to be the queen of the castle and y'all are going to do all the work. It just doesn't work that way, to be right. I'm sure in my done, experience. You've done every single job in that business. Yesterday, I cleaned off the loading dock. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. We unloaded an 18-wheeler out in the street because the guy couldn't get into the loading dock and we needed the merchandise. I hear you. Yeah, so you have to do it to roll up your sleeves and get it done. <laughs> you just have to do it. So you've grown quite a bit in ten years. You yes. have eleven employees now, eleven staff, but you guys are a mighty team. You guys are doing great work. We are, and we have a lot of fun, and we laugh every day, and we, you know, have we are very lucky. We feel very lucky every day to go where we do, and we make pillows and we make bedding. We get to make beautiful things every day. Not everybody gets to do that. And you're actually changing lives. So you're helping people. I need a pillow. No, <laughs> <laughs> we can make that happen. Yes. You know, it really gives us great. Um, I got a beautiful note last night from someone who said, you have no idea. My daughter's been in pain for weeks, and you've really helped her. She, it's the first time she's woken up pain-free. And she took the time to write my, that note to me. And I shared it last night. I sent it around to everybody. That's and, amazing. And I said, this is why we do what we do every day. Yeah, I mean, if you if you aren't getting a decent night's sleep, you literally, you're not living, you're not functioning. Well, it affects everything from your weight to your the way oh, you wait, function no. every day to it your, affects your weight. temperament, <laughs> to your patience, Hold up. to everything. Okay. It's amazing how many things it affects. Okay. Wow. So are you working on any new inventions? Well, I've, I've, but you can share. <laughs> we are working on new products always. Mm-hmm. So we're always coming out with new things that um, every market, which we go to markets in January and then again in the summer. Mm-hmm. And for every market, we'll have new products. So this market will have oh, seersucker uh, boyfriend shirts, white seersucker oh, cool. boyfriend shirts. It'll be great for the bridal groups. And then we're doing these enormous Euro shams that are 26 inches tall by 36 inches wide. So you'll just have two on your bed. So it's like a body pillow or something, right? But it's a huge rectangle and it'll have a beautiful monogram on it. Wow. Super comfortable and super pretty. And then we'll have, um, we're doing dark uh, Oxford cloth pillowcases for boys when they go off to college. It's a great gift for a graduation gift. So your gifts are, are your items are really great for those transition points in, in everyone's life. So when they're getting married, when you're going off to college, what are some of the other times where people touch you and say, you know, I really need that special When they team? move. When they move. They redo all their bedding. They mm-hmm. get all new pillows. Because people don't realize pillows should be replaced, hold on, every two to three years. Okay. Because much I like, believe that, yeah. Well, much like the shirt you're wearing right now. If you wore it eight hours a day, every day for two or three years, it's time to get a new blouse and time to get a new pillow. Yeah. Um, people don't realize that. And they'll keep the, we have, I can't even tell you how many people say to me, oh, gosh, I've had this pillow since college. And oh they're 50 gosh. years old. And you think, ew, <laughs> just gross. Right. So you know they're in pain. Yeah. <laughs> well, or just. It's just ugh. not sanitary. It's just dirty. Yes. Yes. So, and you know, every pillow comes, you know, all of our pillows come with protectors, zippered protectors, and you should take those off and wash them as often as you wash your sheets. People don't realize that wow. either. Okay. They'll wash the pillow case, but they don't wash the protector. They need to wash both because you have natural oils and perspiration. Wow. 
Well, you know, I had I've, I invited you because I knew you were going to be the perfect person to talk about <laughs> public relations. But I've learned <laughs> so much more that I had not expected to learn about. I mean, really, your product is a health and wellness product. It is health and wellness. It's luxury, but it's health and wellness. Luxury wow. with a purpose. Amazing. So to close out, I did want to get some get you to, to weigh in on how do you define a leader? You know, I have um, a saying on my wall that my father said for years, and he had it on his wall, and it's attitude and integrity will get you the accomplishments you're looking for, but it's nothing without love and faith. So I really try to run my company that way, mm-hmm. and I try to instill that in all our employees, and they're not employees to me. They're partners. Family, yeah, and partners. They're mm-hmm. partners, and everything we do Um, When we have a new product idea, we all sit around the table and talk about it, and we all, everybody has input on it. I think my goal is to help them achieve the best they can, Mm -hmm. whether it's with me or somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I'm really lucky people haven't left me. That's a mark of a leader. (laughs) No, that's a great mark of a leader. I think they're happy. We have fun. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think that's an important part of, you've got to love where you go every day, at least like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think I walk into the office every day with a smile and I'm happy to be there because I think, oh, what's today going to bring? Yeah. And I think I hope to instill that in them. But I also challenge people to learn every, I call it the stations of business. So I encourage them to learn how to embroider how to make pillows, how to do PR, how to build a spreadsheet, how to do profit analysis, how to um, arrange our um, showrooms. Mm. Um, Put together a trade show. Correct. So I want everyone to have a finger in everything, uh, cross-training you would call it in many mm-hmm. different places. Mm-hmm. But it's there. we don't have a department. Now everybody does have responsibilities. Um, where, you know, everybody in our shop, I always say, I won't have anybody who doesn't know how to make product mm. because that's our primary thing. We make things. Yes. But then somebody will be the social media. She's in charge of social media. Somebody else is in charge of all of our um, catalog business. Somebody else is in charge of production. Somebody, you know, so everybody has those roles. But all in all, we all get in there and we're rowing the boat together every day. Well, these are skills and talents that they can take with them in the future, I mean, you're Absolutely. training them to do something that's going to be beneficial for the rest of their lives. I hope so. And even if it's something that they're not interested in, like I have one girl says, oh, I don't want to do spreadsheets. And I'll say, but it's important that you know how Understand they, it. You, know, you need to know what what is gross margin. Mm-hmm. Why is margin so important? important. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a real important thing. Even if she says, oh, I want to do social media. Well, good. Let's see how you can afford to pay somebody for social media because you need to have the margin to do that. Absolutely. So I think that's one thing I hope to be is encouraging people to pursue their interests, but also showing them a little bit on the outside of their interests so that they can be better at what they do. Awesome. So now what do you do for fun outside <laughs> outside of business? I know business is very consuming. It Ooh. is very consuming, um, but I do, I'm a horseback rider. Oh, nice. So my daughter and I ride horses oh, together. Oh, wow, I didn't expect that. That's and we cool. have a lot of fun, and she uh, was a nationally ranked rider, so I traveled around a lot following her around to horse shows, but I grew up riding in New Orleans. Okay. And so uh, we rode together for many years. So we still ride together, which is a lot of fun. I don't find as much time as I used to, nor does she, because she's now in the working world, okay. so she doesn't have as much time, but I enjoy riding. And I enjoy cooking a lot, um, okay. as you can understand. Yes. So my husband and I both enjoy cooking, and we take a lot of cooking classes, and when we have time, we go to cooking schools. Fun. Mm-hmm. That's a cool, that's something. Do you have any specific, specific niche or cuisine that you? I like to cook New Orleans food. New he Orleans likes food. to cook Italian food. Okay. Um, we are this year challenging ourselves with learning a little bit more about uh, ethnic foods. We've never okay. made Indian food. Okay. Or, so we're trying all those these, this year. That's I've said cool. I bought my first curry. <laughs> right. So you can go to an Indian market and really explore those right. those different grocery stores. Could be so much fun. We went up to a fish market in um, McKinney. Mm. It was fascinating. Yeah. Fish I'd never even seen before. Okay. So, Interesting. So we do find the time to do that, but we live downtown, so we enjoy walking around downtown. We bicycle ride a lot. Oh, cool. Downtown, which is fun. Cool. Well, Mary Mac Dillon of the Pillow Bar. <laughs> inventor, entrepreneur, leader. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much, Chanel, for having me. It's been a lot of fun. This is fun. Thanks. We wish you sweet dreams. All right. 
To learn more about my guest, Mary McDillon, visit her online at thepillowbar.com. You can also watch her YouTube video at The Pillow Bar where you can see her make a custom pillow. Also, you can reach out to her on social media at The Pillow Bar. You're listening to RNCN, the digital destination for premium talk radio.